And tonight, the social media star at the center of it all is under arrest. Union Square descending into chaos Friday afternoon as seen from the air and the ground. Thousands of young people rushing the park and breaking into a riot. They were fighting each other, they were hurting each other, and they were turning our attacks on us. We had to defend ourselves and we had to make arrests. They came to see social media sensation Kai Sinat. Everybody, everybody for themselves. There's a war out there, man. Who promised a game console giveaway, but failed to pull a permit with the city. He's going to be charged with uh, uh, multiple counts. The 21 year old from New York live streamed the event, forced millions of followers, encouraging them to show up. Mayor Adams monitoring the devolving situation from City Hall. Soon, the middle of Manhattan came to a standstill, and police were overwhelmed, calling in all available officers citywide. Our officers were attacked. Uh, we were in there. We were, we were crushed. We were pushed. I had officers on the floor. Objects became projectiles, and the crowd became unruly. Dozens of arrests were made, while some bloodied teenagers and cops were treated for their injuries, including the chief of department. Businesses around the park quickly closed, and workers' instincts took over. Pulled down the metal thing here, hunkered down for like 40 minutes. He's exemplary at his job, but however, he is one person, and there was a lot more of them. While others, like this vendor, were looted of thousands of dollars in food. I called the cops. They told me have to run away from the cop. Were you scared? Sure. Well, the NYPD made 65 arrests when all was said and done. About half of them were underage kids. They also tell us about half dozen people were treated for injuries, including several police officers, one of whom broke his wrist. Also, police treated someone and took him to the hospital. They believed at first he was shot. Instead, he was hit by an explosive that was set off here. Finally, tonight, police are back at one police plaza taking a look at all of this and how they can avoid something like this from ever happening again.